In this Grasshopper tutorial, I want to show you how you can make a parametric facade. As you can see, I can increase the number of these louvers. And, and this is basically the project of uh, the Luanda Multi Sports Pavilion. You can see that this is the facade, and it's beautiful. And what we want to do is to just have a simple exercise of how we can make these uh, louvers and how it's going to break on it like this. You can see it's something like that, but I'm going to show you this on a flat surface. So this is the facade and we're going to uh, model this in Grasshopper. As you can see, we can increase the number of the louvers here. Uh, we can change the location of the line, which I will explain in this tutorial. You can see we can make it like that. And also we are going to control it with a step, which is a series and it will control the opening. Uh, hopefully this tutorial will help you to understand how you can use the Grasshopper information especially uh, because we have to flip these curves I'm going to explain that and we're going to make this uh, from scratch uh, first of all if you're new to our channel consider subscribing because we have weekly tutorials and what I want to do is to start as you can see in this uh, model I have started with a simple surface uh, let's make that in Rhino and I'm going to just make this a little bit bigger and bring that in the surface. Uh, I'm going to use this vertical uh, rectangular frame and let's just use this one uh, and use the shift key to make it a straight line and bring it up. Okay. The reason I'm doing this is that because we can simply just uh, rotate those sections which I will explain in this tutorial in the Z direction and it would get results. If you want to use that on a freeform surface we have those in our course lessons and you can also watch the tutorials about this I will put it up here if you want to know more about it okay uh, first of all I'm going to import that into grasshopper into the palms menu and in the surface let's put the bifocus plugin and we can right click and set this to the surface and I'm going to just turn this off and let's go to the step uh, the next step uh, the next step is to make a line on the edges there's a trick you can use if you don't hide the surface, you can just say a curve. I'm going to put two of those and set this one in this edge and this one on the other edge. Uh, that will ensure that you always have those edges on the surface and you can see even if I'm making that smaller or bigger, that will give us the results. Uh, okay, I'm going to go to the curves uh, menu and use this point on curve tool here. Uh, connect it to the curves and as you can see with control C, control V, uh, I can control the location of the line which will help us to model this uh, facade. Uh, we can go to the curve and use this line here with two points and connect them as a line and here we can have the control uh, over the facade that's how we can do that uh, the next step is to make these uh, divisions the louvers uh, we have talked about this before but let me just show you a quick solution for that you can use the iso trim okay uh, i have some plugins here but you can find that in the surface menu utility here iso trim and now I can, I can give that to the surface. Uh, by combining the isotrim with the divide domain 2, uh, we can just give the surface to the domain and the segments to here. What it does, it does, it extracts the domain of the surface. You can see basically this is the domain. Doesn't matter. It divides that into the UV counts. And by the div uh, division, you can get that uh, segments of those surfaces. Okay, uh, I'm going to turn that surface off. In one direction, we need a one division. I don't know if it's U or V. Let's just give that to the U. Okay, we need that in the V direction because we want a vertical louvers. And now we can say we want from four to maybe 20 divisions for the U, so we can increase those numbers of divisions. Here we have those surfaces, and now we can get started. Uh, I want to show you a trick you can use to get this edge. Uh, the way you can do that is to go to the intersection and physical and use this surface split. We want to split those surfaces with the line. So I'm going to use this surface 
give that to the surface we want to split and the curve is this line and you can see that each of those uh, louvers have two segments that is this one which is zero and this one which is one so this is how you can just uh, convert your surfaces into two sections and if you want to extract any of them you can just simply go to the sets and use the list item to extract that this is the first section and if we zoom in and just put the plus here we have the second section so remember you can easily do that and use that in your projects if you want to have uh, two different sections let me just turn this off and you can see it's beautifully done because you can just always have those two sections with this line maybe I want to put that down and bring that up like this okay so now we have this surface uh, what I want to do is to extract this edge and rotate it in the Z direction, okay? We want to rotate that in the Z direction. Then I want to connect this to the rotated edge and again to this one. So it's going to uh, simply make a, a, a loft surface. It's really easy. Let's just do that. I'm going to go to the surface and use this deconstruct BREP. Uh, you can see these edges. It has four edges. We have to extract this one. Uh, again, list item on the edges. Turn this off. This is the first edge. I guess it's 0, uh, 1, 2. So it's going to be index number 2. Or you can just zoom in and just put the plus here. But I'm just going to use 2. That's it. Uh, now what we want to do is to rotate that line uh, rotate 3d will just do fine because we can ro rotate it uh, rotate it around anything and the rotation is going to be the center of these lines so I'm going to go to the curve and select again point on curve which will give us the center of that and now the axis is the Z axis the default is Z just to see you can use the unit Z and now we can just say uh, right click on the angle and select degrees because I want to give a degrees to that, not uh, radians. And say maybe from 0 to maybe 90 degrees. Uh, we can also give that an R distribution with three decimals. Okay. Just want to show you how we can rotate these. And then we're going to use a series to... Uh, make a parametric opening. Okay, now what we have to do is to select also the top and the bottom of this. Uh, you can simply just say uh, deconstruct BREP and deconstruct those uh, surfaces, which is the isotrim. I mean the strips we had here and just select the up and down edge that's going to do that so what we want to do is to use the list item and select the edges this is the first edge it's down here uh, let's say another one uh, I think it's 0 1 and 2 now so we're going to say 2 that's right so this is the top let me bring it here this is the center of that and this is the bottom we have to fix it by flipping, but let's just check this out by lofting these things together. I want to teach you the groups also. If I uh, make a curve here, because I want to show you before we loft what happens, is that this is the first series, the second are these, and the third are these, okay? Uh, if you zoom in, this is really important, you can see that there are not groups of three, because we have to make groups of three, this one, this one and this one so the loft gets the results but you can see there is two group and one group so what we can do is the reason is uh, for this is that there is a extra zero here okay whenever you see that always put a curve or anything in uh, before you want to do something and check the groups uh, what I want to do is to just right click and simplify all of them that means that there is no zeros we want to check out and as you can see, that's going to help us have 12 groups of three, which is going to give us the loft. There's a problem for the connection. You can see that this is not in the right direction, especially at the top. So what I want to do is to use the flip curve 
a command to because you can see that this is in this direction and this one is in this direction so I'm going to flip that I'm going to use the flip and say this one as the first this one is the second you can see that that's correct and now this one is the third okay let's just turn everything off uh, another thing uh, everything off okay another thing is that because it connects that as a nerves result so I'm going to go to the loft option here and change the normal to something straight so if I go to the loft option and normal to straight that means just connect that commit change uh, it's going to connect that just as a straight line that's it so now you can see that I have uh, the control of opening these things from zero to a number uh, the trick is to give this each of these strips an opening so I'm going to use a series uh, we can say it's going to start from zero the default is zero for the start the step is each of these strips are going to open by that number so maybe it's from uh, 0 to 30 degrees with two decimals let's increase that and the number of strips we had that in the divide domain it's 12 so I'm going to connect that to the count so the first strip uh, let's just zoom in the first strip is going to go for 0 then it's going to go to 17 and up till the end uh, for the connection because we have two inputs which are in groups you can see that uh, as the uh, graphic of these lines you can also see if you connect uh, activate the display draw fancy wires okay remember that uh, so what I want to do is to just right click and graph this thing so the input uh, 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 for this okay angle is going to also be in groups like this uh, if I don't do that it's going to combine everything and it's going to go wrong so remember you have to do graph and again, I'm going to put up a tutorial which is related up here, so check that out. Okay, this is a little bit too much. I'm going to decrease that to maybe like this. And you can see that we are making this opening. We can change the location of the line. Uh, this is the best and the easiest way you can do that on a flat surface. So if you want to do it for a freeform surface, you can also check out our course or other lessons. Now, how can we convert that? into a solid if you want to do that in rhino you can just bake and use offset surface and select this uh, solid yes okay remember that and the distance maybe one i don't know if it's fine for this project let's just check this out uh this is the way you can give they give it the thickness to these things here okay let's just go to maybe the rendered and see the results it's going to make it like that okay but if you want to do that in grasshopper there's a trick i want to teach you one of the things you can do is before we loft that there are curves i'm going to offset these curves remember it's going to be in the a curve utility offset right up here and I'm going to offset these curves uh, in a distance so you can see that's going to give us again three sections for this but if I zoom here you can see that there are in one groups what's going on always uh, there's a there's a problem with the offset thing in grasshopper when you just do an offset because grasshopper wants to say that this is the offset of a curve it's going to put it into groups just check this out zero 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 one then zero two and then it goes to one zero one 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 two uh, this is really beautiful you can see that those groups are like this these are the three lines but they have been uh, into another group inside that how can we fix this? You can go to the uh, sets, uh, to the tree, like here. We want to fix those groups and use this shift path to fix it. You can also just search for shift. I have some plugins here, but you have to use this shift path. Again, you can find it in the sets a tree in the shift path. And the default, uh, default of this offset is minus one. That means that bring that, those groups back 
uh, one of those steps. I'm going to give that to the curve. And here we go. You can see that we have uh, those three back again. So remember, this is also another trick you can use in Grasshopper. And let's just do that with the loft. That's the way you can preview of that. We can make this uh, thickness maybe 1.25. Make that bigger or smaller. And now what we have to do is to connect those lines. So I'm going to just connect a curve to this. Control C, Control V, and loft it again with the Shift key. If you had a problem, again, remember you have to simplify for those things. Again, we have the boundary, and now we can just uh, brep join that, uh, join that loft with a shift. Again, with a shift. That's it. We will have this beautiful solid, uh, which you can go to the display section and give it a custom preview. Maybe you want to give it a color. I usually do that with a swatch. Uh, we can even pick this color from here and again just a black color to those curves here we extract it to do the boundaries with the shift key i'm going to do that as a black here it goes you can see how it's making the opening now we can control the thickness if we want to uh, we can control the rotation here. Remember, we can increase those rotation. And we can also change the location of the line. Remember, just don't put that onto zero because it's going to intersect and give a, a problem. We'll have that here because it's going to be three edges and we can't extract that edge. Okay, here we go. And uh, finally, you can even, let's just go through the uh, series. We can have that here. And let's just decrease or increase the number for the end of this tutorial. You can see we can increase or decrease that and produce the results. Okay, thanks for watching. Remember to like this video and also follow us. Uh, subscribe to our channel so you can see more about this. Let's just... Uh, have this in Rhino, that's really beautiful. You can see we have used Grasshopper with a few components to produce that on a flat surface. Okay, thanks for watching and see you next time.